Hi guys, thanks for coming back. The wait has been torture for me. I'm still reeling from the fact that that earth lady from the end of the last episode knows Joe. It's such a huge thing. You guys have had some crazy fun speculation going on. And also, the obligatory internet morons have been doing their thing, but I will try not to dwell on a certain stupid jerk who shall remain nameless, but might rhyme with, uh, Sister Salinity. Some people need to chill out and direct their energies towards something positive instead of tearing down narrators of space opera podcasts, if you know what I'm saying. A few people had a complaint, though, that I think was pretty legit. No Central Drone was saying she was super jealous of how I got to watch all these shows in advance, and she was saying how cool it would be if I went into the episodes blind, having never watched them before I narrate for the show. I totally get that. I'd be majorly jealous of someone else if they were in my shoes, so I think, as long as it works out okay with this episode, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go in blind, so I won't have this annoying know-it-all air, right? I'll be just as surprised as you guys by whatever's gonna happen. So yeah, I haven't even watched this one yet. It's been killing me to have the DVD just sitting there calling to me, but I've resisted its sweet siren song because we're all in this together, Mandy's. I'm just gonna put the DVD in now. Okay, pressing play. <laughs> Somewhere in the deepest depths of space, a team of intergalactic efficiency experts comb the galaxy, looking to bring order to the chaos of the universe. And it's not an easy job, because it takes daring, and it takes drive. It takes a team of doers. No one set up any sparks. Thinkers. My sick bay is for science. Lovers. I think I have the right wires. And fighters. How much blood do you need? It takes us. Don't forget computers. Right. That too. And me, I'm their leader, Captain Joe. And I am proud to be captain of the Space Mantis. So, I really flew the Mantis to this sad little planet with the intention of crashing? Well, sorta. It was actually the parasite. It was just using your body to achieve its goal. Oh wow. That's scary stuff. And wait, I got the best of infinity in a fight? Nope, again, the parasite used your body to achieve its goal. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I took on a cyborg and won. Keep telling yourself that. You almost done with that thing? Can you get Nancy working? Doc, don't insult me with your doubts. I can get anything on this ship working. Nancy'd have been back with us an hour ago if you hadn't let Marcus mess around with this panel. Seriously, he connected the green wire to the yellow? What the absolute hell? And yet, instead of having him here so you could teach him some stuff, you sent him off to the engine room. He's the engineer. I'm sure something needs tuning up down there. You seriously need to start teaching him some stuff, Zed. You're a control freak. If you taught him some of the stuff before instead of mocking him for not knowing anything, we wouldn't have been in nearly the trouble we'd been in when that parasite was latched onto your neurons. <sighs> Doc. Joe, who's that? Why are you carrying some random lady? There you are, Doc. I tried the sick bay, but you locked the door, so I had to search all around for some- I repeat, why are you carrying around some random lady? She passed out. But why do you have her here at all? If we went around dragging every random alien in distress onto the Mantis- But she's not some random alien. She works for Central. Knew who I was. She says she's posted here. Posted here? She said so. But how? This planet's not part of the Central Alliance. It's so not on our radar. It's... Oh, hold on a second. I think I almost got Nancy back. Can I help with anything? 
Sure, you can be quiet. I just gotta... Nancy? Yes, Zed? Yes! Dude, way to go! You are a genius, Zed. Nancy, does everything feel okay? Anything need realigning? Everything appears to be in order, as long as... Hold. One moment. Processing. My coordinates appear to be off. They tell me we are on PC-76 in the Roto Galaxy. Known to lifeforms on PC-76 as the Milky Way Galaxy. Unfortunately, Nancy, your coordinates are not off. Nope. We are totally on PC-76 for real. And it is the worst. It's like a big swamp or something. At least, the spot we landed on, anyway. I understand. In that case, all systems are functioning correctly. Zed, why did you disable me? Now, that is a long story, Nancy. Which we have no time for. Doc, this lady's getting heavy. Could we maybe get moving? Head on down to the sick bay? Sure, sure. Let's go. Now Nancy's fixed. You work on our comms. Okay, Zed? So what happened out there with the raider? It's good to see you not dead. Good to be not dead. Infinity shot it out of the sky with the super big boy Z93. Took a beating in the process, but she got it. That's our Infinity. She was awesome. So this lady you've got there, she's posted here on this stupid little planet? Yeah, I know. I mean, it's weird. Must be some top secret thing? I mean, she's got to be pretty high level. Central's line about this galaxy has been there's nothing worthwhile here. Huh. Well, whatever. We can get answers out of her when she's well. Let me just open the door and you can toss her on the table. Yeah, that one. Jeez, gentle. Sorry. Dutton? Captain? Yeah. Her speech is all messed up from getting holes blasted in her uh, by the Dara Raider. Uh, you and Zed gotta fix her. Oh, uh, sure thing. Wow, though. She's a mess, isn't she? We still got that spare body, that empty cyborg whose consciousness got zapped in that force field on Spoxen. Sure. He's in storage, I think. We could stick Infinity's consciousness in there until the body's fixed up. They're close enough in models, I think. Doc is excellent, that idea, and Great. Glad you think so. Infinity, you run over to storage and bring that empty back here. Do will. Hm. You, uh, sure about that, Doc? That empty body is a dude. So? But Infinity is... a woman. Joe, you are such a loser. What? Why? You seriously don't see it? Um... Oh, come on. Now that you gotta look at your crush in a guy's body, you're all of a sudden so sure she's a woman and not a robot? This is so at odds with that conversation we had like a day ago, Joe. Oh, I can't date Infinity. She's a robot. Whatever. Hey, you're totally twisting my words, Doc. <clears throat> well, I mean, fine, let's do it. Let's switch her. She's not going to want to be stuck in a body that can't talk right if she has an alternative. It's just that... Dude, I'm just messing with you. Even though you are kind of a loser. <clears throat> So, this lady... Nice change of subject there, Captain. Yeah, this mysterious central operative. I hope you're planning to question the hell out of her when she's conscious. Of course I am, Doc. I'm not taking her word for anything. Even though I can't imagine how she could possibly have heard of me, and Central, out here in the middle of nowhere. Good. Glad to hear you don't trust her. Now you get on out of here and let me take care of her. Right. Keep me posted if you find anything interesting. Will do. Okay guys, it's me. I'm jumping in to talk over the action. Joe's walking down the hall right now, not saying anything. And oh, okay, we're doing a split screen, I guess. It's showing all the crew in their spots all over the ship doing their thing. Marcus is fussing at the engine, Zed is in the bridge trying to get the comms working, though why the controls for the comms are in the panel of the bridge, I don't know, but you don't need that tangent. And Angela's sliding a little glowing chip out of the back of Infinity's head and walking it over to the empty cyborg dude on a bed in the sick bay, and that unconscious mystery lady's just lying there being an unconscious mystery, and oh look! 
They're even showing everyone's favorite plant alien, Phalador. I had been worried they'd written Phalador out of the script, but there he is with Zer feet and Zer pot of dirt with Zer retractable roots all soaking up Zer lunch. Good old Phalador. So glad the writers haven't... Oh, okay. Split screen's over. We're back to Joe and Zed at the bridge. Hey, uh, Zed. What's up? How's the... Whoa! What's with that face? You totally look freaked out. Is it the controls? Are they fried? Do not tell me we are stuck on this planet. Um, uh, Joe, we got a message when the comms were out. It was, uh... Well, you're not gonna be happy. Who's it from? Uh... Zed? You sure you want to hear this, man? Maybe... Maybe you should sit down. Aw, crap. This must be bad. You're not being snarky. Just sit down. Nancy? Yes, Captain? Who's this message from? It is from... Don't tell him! Zed, you do not have the authority to override the Captain's orders. The message was from Dr. Terence Braithwaite. Oh man. For real? Could this day get any worse? Sorry, dude. <clears throat> Damn it. Well, I guess I gotta hear it. Nancy, play the message. Yes, Captain. Playing new messages. Captain Joe Pratchett, today is your lucky day. You are the winner of an all-inclusive paid trip to... Next message, Nancy. Angela, this is your mother. I heard through the grapevine you were on Spockton for three days and never bothered to call. Yikes. Joe, <laughs> I see your ship has been experiencing difficulties. What a pity. I also gather you may have worked out who's been genetically modifying the parasite that got you in your predicament. I've been hoping you'd eventually figure it out. I've missed you, Joe, in our little game of cat and mouse. Now that you know my plans, Joe, you're gonna have to track me down to save the universe. And I know what you're... Wait, what the crap? He ran out of time. There is a second half. Dang it, you need to update your message hardware. Where was I? Uh, oh yeah, I know what you're thinking. But why would I go after you? Why not just tell Central you're behind the parasites? Well, Joe, you can certainly do that. But know this. I have spies at Central. And they're working with me on this, so they'll cover up whatever I tell them to cover up. <laughs> okay, I bet I'm almost out of time, so I'll just say goodbye for now, Joe. See you soon. <laughs> Zed, this is not good. You don't say. I mean, aside from the obvious, how the hell does he know all of that? Is he recording us? Does he have trackers on the Mantis? Or, um, a spy? No way. Don't go there. Ain't no way anyone on this ship is a double agent. Well, yeah, but still, we should probably check it out in light of the evidence. Zed? I trust my people. If a thing's true, it'll hold up under the scrutiny. So where's the harm? We'll talk about this later. I'm going to the sick bay to check on our visitor. And fill in Doc on the Braithwaite thing. And tell her her mom called. So, Joe glares at Zed. Zed glares at Joe. And Joe stomps off to the sick bay. Wow. I'm pausing it here to rant a bit. I thought Zed was over this whole doubting the crew thing. Didn't he learn his lesson back in season one? Guess not. I mean, trusting your friends is so majorly important in their situation. Gotta know you have each other's back, right? Zed's great and all, but man, does his pragmatism get on my nerves sometimes. All right, I'm pausing. And we're back at the sick bay now. Joe hasn't gotten there yet. It's just Angela and the mystery lady and what must be the empty infinity body. And whoa, the mystery lady's eyes just snapped open. She's staring at the ceiling and Angela, who's holding a big all-in-one vaccine needle, looks over at her. 
Ah, you're awake. What am I doing here? How'd I get... You came in with the captain, don't you remember? And we had a conversation a few minutes ago. Don't you remember that either? Uh, no? You were telling me about the Dara that attacked you and stole all your stuff. You remember none of that? No, I don't remember anything. Okay, interesting. Well, don't worry, you're in good hands. What is that? All in one vaccine. You've never had one? The captain said you were with Central. Oh, of course, the vaccine. I. You see, it, the syringe, it just looks so much bigger in real life. In real life? Um. Hold still. Wait. This is essential. You know it is. Geez, kid. If I didn't know better, I'd think you'd never had one before. Me again. Wow. Mystery lady just passed out. Just like that. Awake one second, out the next. Maybe she passed out from fear? She was mega creeped out by the vaccine. And Angela's right. That's a totally weird reaction for a person who's really working for Central, right? This new character is so, so weird. Like, she really doesn't know some really basic stuff. Sure, she's out of it and all, but still. Anyway, Angela's checking her vitals and peeling back her eyelids and, you know, medical checkup, whatever. And then she gives Mystery Lady the vaccine while she's out. And then the door slides open and Joe walks in. Hey, Doc. She's still out? Out again? She's already been up twice, then just passed out with no warning. She was saying she was thirsty. Maybe she's dehydrated. Nah, I got her on an IV. Huh. Did she tell you her name? Nope. Did she tell you what she's doing here? No. Oh, um, uh, your mom called. She heard you were on Spoxon and didn't visit her or, or something. Oh, great. Just great. As if I needed more drama. She's already mad enough that I'm missing the Starlight Festival party at her place next weekend. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You are so not even listening. Why are you pacing? What the hell, man? Is something up? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, something is very, very up. Braithwaite contacted me. Braithwaite, Doc. No way. Oh, wow. This is bad. What'd he say? He said the parasite was his doing. And he thinks we're gonna go after him. Says he has spies at Central, so we have to deal with him directly. Whoa, don't do it. Sounds like he wants to go face to face with you. That means he's got a plan, right? Why else would he send a message to you? Yeah, you're right, but, I mean, there was kinda an implied threat, right? Like, he's gonna unleash more parasites if I don't show. I mean, do you think I'm reading too much into this? Huh, well, I hadn't thought of that myself. But sure, I see what you're saying. So we what? We walk into a trap? Or... Or we make him think we are, but we make our own trap. Dun, 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 right? And now, oh wow, now the camera's doing this crazy fast zooming out thing from the mantis out to the swamp, then Michigan, then North America, then Earth, then the solar system, then the Milky Way, then it does a 180 and it absolutely zooms, like light speed zooms off towards some other galaxy and then bam, it stops right in front of everyone's favorite evil space station. Yes! Finally, Braithwaite's evil lair, the twelve-sided terror, the dodecahedron of doom. There it is, in all its silver and glass shiny glory. I'm so excited. And the camera zooms in through one of the twelve outer panels, and we're in one of Braithwaite's labs. And there he is, looking just as smooth and confident as ever, all tall and imposing with his smirky mouth and his evil eyebrows and he's pacing back and forth and he's totally immersed in um whatever he's reading on this tablet he's holding and then he smacks the comm button on his wrist pearl yeah terry terrence <clears throat> it's terrence any results yet have they heard the message they just heard it and joe is freaking out you really should be watching this i'm recording it though so you can watch it later you were right. Zed suspects a spy on the ship. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to take this to Central. They're talking about coming here, but get this. They're going to plan some sort of trap first to trap you. 
So um, look out for that. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. Just adorable. I can't even. It is pretty cute. You said you're recording? I gotta take it to poker night and show the guys. <laughs> They'll get a kick out of it. For sure. <laughs> well, great. Keep me posted on that. In the meantime, I'll just be working on the bio bomb. Stupid Braithwaite. And Pearl? She must be the replacement for Montrose. And here I'd been hoping he'd be flying solo for a while, but I guess since Braithwaite's a total moron with technology, he really does need an evil computer scientist on board. I'm just going to talk quick while the camera zooms back to Earth because that looks like what's going on now. Wow. Looks like the crew fell right into whatever Braithwaite's plans are. And looks like Braithwaite has some cameras or something on the Mantis. Wow. 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 How'd they get cameras on board? Freaky. I'm with Joe. No one on the crew would do such a thing. I'd suspect Mystery Lady, but she only just got on the ship. Okay, we're back to Earth, zooming back down to the Mantis, all the way down to Sick Bay. Looks like the whole crew's gathered around. Okay, here you go. All right, so that's where things stand. He's getting information about us somehow, and he's totally baiting us. But we gotta go. We gotta try to stop him. Or rather, I gotta go. It's me he wants. None of you have to go, unless you want to. I'm not going to force any of you to go to the dodecahedron of doom, knowing full well we're walking right into a trap. Uh, so, I guess this is the part where I ask, who's with me? You know I got your back, Captain. Me too, man. I will, of course, be coming. <clears throat> um, thanks, Infinity. I sense you are uncomfortable, Captain. Does my mood body affect you negatively? I had been hoping that perhaps, since you do not respond well to my female form, you might prefer this one. Ahem, <clears throat> um, it's not your female form I have a problem with. I quit laughing, Angela. It's not that. It's, uh, oh, uh, hey, Marcus, are, are you in on this trip to visit Braithwaite? <laughs> sure, I'm in. Great. Then it's decided we'll get it together in the dining room this evening and plan the particulars. Excellent. If that's all, I want to go check on the patient. And the rest of you all should be fixing the ship, yeah? Not quite done yet. I, uh, I got some cards for you. You know, because the Starlight Festival's coming up and all. Um, season's greetings. There you go, Marcus. Um, thanks. That's nice of you. I wasn't expecting a cut. I didn't get you anything. No worries. Here you go, Doc. Happy holidays. A card? Why? We don't do holidays. Just go with it, Doc. Infinity, here you go. Thank you, Captain. It is lovely. Did you do the drawing on the front yourself? I did indeed, yes. Hmm. The little star with the rays of colorful light. It is lovely. Thanks. Glad you like it. Here, here Zed. Gee, thanks. Go ahead and uh, give him a read. I'm off to check out the bridge. Weird. Oh wow, he really did hand draw the picture on the front. <laughs> Super weird. Is this like some team building camaraderie thing from a How to Captain book? Uh, guys, you should read what he wrote in sight. Ugh, sentimental drivel. Uh, just read it. So... Looking super curious and confused, as I would be, they all open their cards, the camera's zooming in on the one in Angela's hands, and oh wow, now I see what he was up to, cool, it says, <clears throat> Braithwaite's recording us, maybe watching us. We need to come up with a plan, but not one he can hear. This evening in the kitchen, we'll come up with a fake plan. We'll plan the real one some other way. Not sure how yet, but for now, tonight, we need to throw him off. Happy Starlight Festival, Captain Joe. Cool. I'd been wondering how they were going to get around the spying. Way to go, Joe! They all 
stare at each other for a few awkward seconds. Then they close their cards in unison. Wow, that was sweet of him. So nice to know he's thinking of us this holiday season. Yeah, good old Joe. He's sure a thoughtful guy. Yes, he is wonderful. We should get to work. Right you are, Infinity. I should go check on the patient. Mm, I will accompany you. Great, come on. Nancy? Yes, Dr. Angela? Is my patient awake? Yes, Doctor. She is awake. She is yelling and attempting to break free of her restraints. Lovely. Come on, Infinity. Now we're in sick bay. Angela and Infinity aren't there yet. The mystery lady is thrashing all around and yelling. And, oh, she just froze and she's looking around with crazy eyes like she hears something weird. What? Who is that? Where are you? Okay. Yeah. This is a weird scene. I guess she's basically just flipping out and hearing voices or something. Hey, did you hear me? Who's talking? Um, Dr. Angela and Infinity have got to be getting here soon. Oh, now she's super agitated again and... I am not agitated. I mean, well, yeah, but you're a disembodied voice, so... Wait, what? What is going on? Okay, guys, this is weird. I mean, does it seem like she's talking to me? She totally seems like she's... Of course I'm talking to you. You're watching me and talking about me and I can't see you and this is totally freaking me out. What the crap? You are not talking to me. There's no way you are talking to me. Are you AI? Like Nancy? Did they get a new Nancy? I am not AI. I am on Earth watching a Space Mantis DVD. I'm hallucinating. I'm hallucinating. I'm losing my no mind. No way, lady. I'm the one who's hallucinating here. You're on TV. I'm in real life. I'm... What? On TV? Listen, you freak hallucinating voice. I am not on TV. Deep breath, self. Deep breaths. Oh my gosh. You are totally on TV. You are on the set of Space Mantis. I'm looking at you on my computer screen. I've lost my mind. Oh, oh crap. I'm gonna have a panic attack. What is even happening right now? Shut up, hallucination. Just shut up. You're not the crazy one. I'm the crazy one. Guys, wow. I see so need to share this podcast and get some feedback. I seriously need some proof this is happening or not happening. This chick on TV is talking to me. I am not on TV. I am on the Space Mantis. Voice, who are you even? Do you have a name? I'm not divulging that. I'm doing a podcast. Legal reasons and safety reasons and stuff. Anonymity. Shh, voice. I see Dr. Angela and Infinity. They're right outside the door. They've been walking down the hall. Every time you talk, they stop moving. Huh? See, yeah, when you said huh, they stopped moving for a second. No way. Seriously? That's crazy. Are they frozen again? I can't see the door from this camera angle. What camera angle? There's no camera. This isn't TV. This... Hey there. Awake again, I see. Having a chat with Nancy? Uh, no. Oh, cool. Angela and Infinity are on screen, so I'm talking now to see if they're frozen, and guys, they totally are frozen. What is going on here? Oh my gosh, this is so messed up. Angela and Infinity are frozen in their tracks, and the mystery lady is totally not frozen. Of course I'm not. And, wow, just, wow, I, I, I have no idea. Talking to yourself, then. I'm not talking to myself. I'm not crazy. Jeez, simmer down, kid. I never said you were crazy. I talk to myself all the time, and I'm at least fairly sane. What are you doing? Hold still. I'm checking your vitals. Whoa, your heart rate is insane, and you're all clammy. Have you had a negative reaction to the vaccine before? I've never... Um, no. No, I haven't. I'm gonna give you a sedative, just in case. No, don't. Infinity, can you hold her arm? Keep her from squirming. Infinity? 
Why do you look like a dude? I switched bodies. My usual body was damaged by a Dara Raider. I am going to hold your arm now, mysterious patient. Oh yeah! You have that body from the, the one cyborg that got fried in episode- Wait. Wait. Episode? Did you say episode? You watch Space Mantis? How can you watch it and be in it? What is going on? And oh, look at that. Yep. Angela and Infinity are totally frozen again. Stop talking! You froze her and she has a needle in my arm. Cave, you're talking crazy. I'm gonna scan your brain while you're out. No, don't. I don't like unnecessary medical tests. Come on, Infinity. Let's go have a meeting with Joe. Our crazy pal here is going to be out for a while. Okay, lady. They're gone. Can you still hear me? Um, yes, but but everything's getting fuzzy. Shoot. Oh, this should be so cool being on my favorite show. Favorite show? Don't lose consciousness! Not now! Aw, oh, man. Please don't pass out. We need to talk. Did you win some sort of contest? How are you on the set? What is happening here, lady? Mystery lady? Crap. She's out. Well, guys, this is insane. What the heck? <sighs> know what I'm going to do? I'm going to totally back this DVD up to the beginning of this scene, and I'm going to see what happens. Hold on. Grr. What the heck? Error message. It won't let me back up. Guys, this is weird. This is really weird. This episode's not technically done yet, but I'm too weirded out to go on. I'm gonna end it here, okay? Sorry, I gotta fuss with my equipment and see if I can get the DVD to play that scene again, and uh, I don't know. Like, I gotta try to figure this out because I was just talking with a person on Space Mantis, and that does not make sense. I was going to end this podcast with a message for Mr. Infinity, since he's been a huge jerk about how I shut down the message board, but I'm just going to scratch that now. It feels petty and silly in light of this weirdness, so I guess this is the end of episode four of the Space Mantis podcast. See you next time. Hi, I'm Laura Morrison, the creator of the Space Mantis podcast. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate every last one of our listeners, unless they're jerks, which is highly unlikely if you are a fan of our podcast. So keep up the good work, you wonderful person, you. Speaking of wonderful, we have a Patreon page, and even a few dollars can keep our international crew of space misfits chugging across the galaxy. The link is patreon.com forward slash Space Mantis podcast. This episode featured Jennifer Flath as the narrator, Sam Hooker as Braithwaite, Murray Howalt as Infinity, Kathy Joy as Nancy, Tiffany Murat as Dr. Angela, Laura Morrison as Mystery Lady, Seven Jane as Pearl, Joseph Waters as Captain Joe, and Ryan Watt as Zed. Audio by Alan Spector, music by Joseph Waters, and writing by me, Laura Morrison. For more information on the show and the people behind it, go to fishclimbingtrees.com forward slash mantis forward slash and unreleasedmantis.com. If you like what you've heard, subscribe to the Space Mantis podcast to help us move up in the world. Thanks, fellow Mandys. Over and out.